Hello everyone, welcome to Vegas Showbiz. We are Jessica and Michael Pellegrini, and we're excited to be doing another Vegas show review today. We're gonna to talk about Illuminate, which plays at the Stratosphere. It was our first time seeing the show, first time at that venue, so we'll be talking about both of those things. We'll get into shows that compare to Illuminate, who their target audience probably is, and then at the end, we've got a nice little pro tip for you to save you some money on Vegas show tickets. So you might wanna stick around for that. Before we jump into everything, I have one small favor to ask. If you could please help us out by subscribing to the channel, we would totally appreciate that. We're regularly producing content on Vegas. Show reviews, concert reviews, hotels, restaurants, all kinds of fun stuff in Vegas. So we'd love to have you along for that ride. With that said, we're gonna get into our initial impressions on Illuminate, and for that, I give you Jessica Pellegrini. So initial impressions, the venue was quite nice. I'll say yeah. we don't spend time at the Stratosphere, so right. I was pleasantly surprised. It was a bigger, nicer venue than to expected. Mm -hmm. um, it was a fun show. Yeah, You know, it, it wasn't a whole lot different than I expected. It's dancing and it's music and it's just fun. Yeah. Um, lots of popular music from all decades. Right, it's a journey of music. Um, yeah. It definitely directly, uh, um, What's the word I'm Compares? trying to Yeah, I would say with Jabberwocky. Absolutely. I would say same target audience. Right. Same type of show, same length of time. Yes. Um, I think ticket prices are very comparable. Yes. They're just on different ends of the strip. Right, yeah, you're at totally different ends of the strip. Right, so that being said, I, I think I liked Illuminate a little bit better. Mm. They do more of a um, story with Java Walkies and it doesn't fit. It's kind of corny. And there's not really a story with Illuminate. It's just kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the costumes make it so interesting because you've got these these lights that are you know changing colors constantly, mm -hmm. and and you know when performers combine together, they can do interesting things with lighting up certain parts of one person and another. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. They do just uh, they do a lot of dancing throughout the audience, which was yeah. you know fun. Yeah. Um, and there's probably about what nine or ten performers. Yeah, yeah, I think and exactly. And at any given time when they're all out on stage, you know, they can do a lot of really cool things with the lights. Yeah, yeah, I think that uh, you know, I mean, I'm I'm not like a professional dance critic or anything like that, but I'm guessing that because it's so dark and you're relying so much on the lighting of the costume, the choreography doesn't need to be like the tightest in the world. No, yeah, it wasn't. You know, it, right. it probably wasn't, but it doesn't take away from the performance because it's still it's such a visual treat that you, what you're seeing. Right. It's only an hour. Yeah, it's so exactly it's a an hour. Show. Mm -hmm. Very family. Um, friendly you know it's all age appropriate in fact yeah. I think it's target audience is probably more of like that younger crowd I think so too although I can see older people enjoying it just because it's an um, short and engaging sure yeah I mean anybody yeah. can get a good time out of this I mean if you enjoy music and, and dance I mean mm -hmm. that's basically the only prerequisite right I would recommend it if um, you know the strat is on the far end of the strip, right, extreme strip, north so end of the strip. Sometimes is a factor. Although it was nicer than you know, I, I've never gone to the stratosphere before this. I've just never really had a reason, and I've always associated it with the tower up top, which I didn't want to go to. So I <laughs> consequently never went to the stratosphere. But I, I thought that overall, the, the the hotel and the casino area, that mm -hmm. it was well kept, very clean, more modern than I was expecting, mm -hmm. um, and and that extended up into the retail area, which is where the theater is located. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, very friendly staff. Everything was kind of just a little bit nicer than I was expecting it to be. I would I would say the same. Yeah. I would say the same. That and the show surprise. was a little bit more fun than I expected. Yeah. And at the end of the show, it was kind of cool how, and they're going to see this on the video as well, how the performers were, like the lights came on for the for the house and, and the performers, you know, you, they finally had faces essentially. Because one thing I was thinking the whole time is this has got to be a pretty economical show to produce because you know, it's basically costumes, you've already got a pre-recorded soundtrack, there's no identities to the performers because everything is, is you know, dark in there, you can't see them. But at the end, you've got those identities, mm -hmm. and I thought that, you know, just putting a face to all these people whose uh, otherwise avatar, for lack of a better term, was all you had to associate with the whole time, it was a cool resolution. Yep. So. Agreed. Yeah. All right. Pro tip. Pro tip. So, yeah, this is a cool way, and this is... It doesn't really matter if you're just visiting Vegas or you live in Vegas. Um, if you live here and you like going to shows, this is an absolute no-brainer. Houseseats.com, if you're not familiar with House Seats already, and we're not even like affiliates or anything, 
Uh, but we signed up because house seats is basically like overflow, extra tickets. They operate in a variety of cities around the country, Vegas being probably one of their most popular ones. There's so many shows all the time. We signed up for an annual membership, uh, but even if you're just visiting from, you know, for out of town for a weekend or something like that, I think house seats uh, lowest or shortest term membership is two months, but it's only 49 bucks and that allows you to reserve two tickets to practically any show that they have available. So, you know, if you think about it, I mean, if you're flexible on what you want to see, 49 bucks to see shows for your entire time in Vegas is a heck of a deal. I wouldn't recommend it if you have your heart seeing on something very specific because, you know, there's a good chance that those won't pop up. But if you're a little bit flexible, I mean, we're finding that there are always magic shows there's a lot comedy. of the comedy clubs yeah there's quite a few different comedy clubs where if you want to go see a, a night of live comedy this is absolutely the way to go mm -hmm. there's also a bunch of burlesque shows and there's just all kinds of stuff so house seats is definitely worth checking out we're already getting our money's worth out of it so check that out um that's i think that's about it for this one a relatively short review but you know if you're looking for dance if you've seen jabba walkies or you're considering jabba walkies and that was our first video we ever did for vegas showbiz so it's near and dear to our hearts but if you if you like that sort of thing this is going to be right up your alley as well uh, the lighting is fun it's going to be family friendly and if you're already on the north end of the strip it's a lot easier to just go right there right so, yeah check it out all right cool well thanks for uh, sticking with us and again if you could help us out by subscribing to the channel that would be awesome uh, thank you and we will see you in the next video bye-bye